we're kind of taking a look back at the 10 years you've been with NTV and here in Newfoundland and Labrador. And just the concept of what a TV station is has changed so much since you started in 2013. Mm -hmm. Now with streaming and with online news. So maybe you can speak to what it's like working in a newsroom in this digital age or transitioning to a digital age. It's, it's not an easy thing to try and navigate because you go back like, even 10 years and 10 years doesn't seem like a lot when you say 10 years, but 10 years like with respect to where we are on social media and the internet and digitally, like everything has grown so much in that 10 years. Like when I first mm -hmm. began and, and ended my, my career at my last station in the United States, like Twitter was just like getting kind of started. And you know, Facebook was a thing, but it wasn't like, like the kind of juggernaut it is now. And YouTube was there too. Like, Everything was kind of there, but it, it wasn't utilized nearly as much as it has been over the last 10 years. And so with television news, like we're, we're kind of in this area where we still have our traditional programming, which there is a, a significant audience for, but then you have this whole other online portion where people are going to get their news online via whatever medium they choose and trying to navigate like what do you put where and trying to figure out like what audience is where how does the audience on each platform consume media it's it's a really challenging thing to do and the only way to get good at it is to just try it like get on the platform figure out what works and then try it and see what works see what doesn't work you're absolutely right there could be some paralysis by analysis and I'm so proud of our little company. Just a year ago, we had a few thousand people visiting our website, mm -hmm. which is ntv.ca. We're close to 100,000 visitors now per week. And that it couples with the mind-boggling fact of 80% of Newfoundlanders and Labradorians watch NTV every week, which I will never stop saying. And I, and I always joke, I want to find this one person <laughs> who says they never watch NTV. I don't think I've ever met someone who's like never watched NTV. But it's so exciting because on your broadcast schedule, you only have a limited number of hours mm -hmm. you can, local news is expensive to do. But news never stops. Right. So we have this new beast called a website where you can download stories on the weekends, 24 hours a day. And obviously we're doing something and you've really been a key part of that, spearheading it. It's working. We're doing mm. something that the province likes because suddenly now it's like having a second TV station almost. Right. It's incredible. Yeah, the, 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 the digital content is, is huge. I mean, people, people consume news by watching it traditionally, but they also like to go to a website to find either uh, stories that are put up that may or may not be in the newscast. A lot of the stuff that we put on, on the website is in the newscast, but some doesn't have to be because you almost have to be this like dual entity mm -hmm. where you have to put on this newscast, which is essentially you know a, a produced show, but the website doesn't have that production value. So you can get information and get it up there very, very quickly. So you want to be that, that place where people go to to find that information that maybe we can't get up on the news at two or three o'clock in the afternoon, but we can on the website. Mm. And you, we could stream on the website, we can post weather on the website, really in-depth forecasts on the website that maybe I can't get into so much on air because I can get quite technical mm -hmm. with, with right. web stuff and I can explain it a little bit more and there's just a whole other avenue for news content, which again presents challenges because like what do you put in this avenue? And that's, that's the hard part is figuring out like, what works, what doesn't, and what's going to draw people to the website and also keep people watching.